Hey, this is Johnny Bluegrass here with the Red River Underground. Today we're gonna go do a really cool loop with a lot of arches and a lot of things to see. Uh, we're starting close to the Osborne Ben parking area. Coppers Creek is about 150 feet away from the, the parking lot. We're gonna follow up the, the trail towards Coppers Falls. From there, we're gonna look for Sandy Arch. Uh, along the way, there's a lot of different arches that we've covered in our previous videos. Hopewell, uh, Snow Arch, uh, Double Deer Arch. We'll refer you to our uh, previous video on how to get there. But from there, we're gonna find a trail that connects us to the Osborne Bend Loop that will take us over to the Douglas Trail, which takes us over to Eagle Point Buttress. Uh, we're gonna go down the Eagle Point Buttress Trail in reverse and take you by Moonshiner Arch. Uh, so there's a lot to see in this video. It's a loop. It's uh, gonna be several miles, so it's gonna be a hike that you wanna take the full day for. Hiking with us today is just myself and country style. So show you a really awesome loop today. Uh, standing here next to Large Marge. Hopewell Arch lies on a rock ridge about uh, 400 feet from us probably, but in the meantime, we're gonna keep going straight toward the waterfalls. If you don't wanna follow the uh, trail, you can just walk straight up the creek in the winter time. Walking on it. So now we're at the campsite where you would turn off to go up to see Snow Arch and Double Deer Arch. Uh, this is where you want to go. You want to take this creek, this second tributary up, and you want to go up the, in that direction towards those two arches. But we're just going to keep on going down to the falls, which is right down the creek. But it's awfully lonely Running without Getting closer to Coppers Creek Falls on the way here. We're, just, we're looking at this trail that goes off to the right though. You remember we were talking about visiting Sandy Arch. We believe this is the way up. So here we are, we're gonna follow this trail up this ridge. We're looking for a waterfall and an arch. Apparently you get both this time around. our first time at this arch and as you can see we probably hit it the best time of the year to do it the waterfall goes through the arch itself there's actually other arches I think these I don't know the names of them they could be the copper arches I'm not sure but sandy arch is spectacular uh, so we're gonna go to Coppers Creek we're gonna try to get up to the top uh, uh, of it and get connect with the Osborne Ben Loop. Pillar of ice taken weeks to form. It's seen some really interesting things that, that, that ice can do. Uh, The Osborne Bend Loop hangs on top of the ridge uh, above Coppers Falls. So we, it, right now with the snow down, we don't necessarily see a trail, but we're falling up our, uh, around the edge, hopefully finding a way to the top. If you keep walking in the direction of Coppers Creek at the, to the end, to where the falls is, if you keep going in that direction, you'll run into the Osborne Bend Loop. All right, we seem to pretty easily find our way up. Once we got to the falls, we took a right and hugged and went up and around. Right where the, the falls is, at the top of the falls, is a trail that goes up the hill. It's kind of a steep hill, but you can see it just ever so faintly. And that's the direction to the Osborne Loop. So we think this is the right trail. Got hidden switchbacks around rocks. 
It's very obscure in most areas, going through brush. But we did make it to the top of this ridge and found what we think is an unmarked trail. And uh, we want to take a right, and we believe that's going to take us closer to Osborne Bend. We did follow a trail. It's just it's an obscure trail. Uh, lots of briars. A little bit of scrambling will be involved. Uh, so we're just kind of following along these bear tracks. We're hoping the bear's leading the way. Yeah, uh, seriously follow those bear tracks all the way to the Osborne Bend Loop. So we made it here. Here's the trail. You can see it's very predominant. Uh, we want to take a right. Okay, so since we hit the Osborne Bend Trail, we've probably only walked about a quarter mile. You're going to reach the fork with the Douglas Trail here on the left. That goes to Eagle Point Buttress along with Moonshiner's Arch. Um, so you can get to the back. If you parked at the Osborne Bend Loop where we did, you can get back to your car either way here. So this trail will take you right back to that parking area. Then again, if you take a left here, the long way, which we're going to do, and see Eagle Point Buttress and Moonshiner's Arch. It's a little further and a little, it follows the river. It's a little trickier, but uh, it's worth checking out. So that's gonna be our loop today. We're gonna take a lift. All right, everybody, coming down the Douglas Trail, you're gonna eventually see a fork with a right turn. That's where we're gonna go to get to Eagle Point Buttress. If you continue though, straight down this trail for about 15 to 20 more minutes, there's an awesome overlook you can check out. In fact, we're gonna head down there now and then just backtrack. Coming back from Man Mauler, we're gonna take a left right here. Back where we said before, go see the buttress. So this is a good way to know that you're on the right way. You're, this is way you're really close to the buttress. Is this this bush right here is a tree bush. It is a pretty it sticks out. So you want to take a left here, and that's the best way to the buttress. Butchers just enjoying this awesome overlook. It's possibly the best in the entire Red River Gorge. And to complete the loop, we're gonna have to go down. From the overlook here, you're gonna go to the left and uh, slowly scramble down. Uh, there's a cave section too, but uh, it's a little technical, so be ready. So if you're facing out from the buttress, uh, if you go left right here, is the there's a waterfall that also is a good indication that you're going the right direction. Hug this ridge line. Be careful, it's a very steep fall. Many people have died at this location. It's the second deadliest location in all the gorge. Okay, we've walked about three or five minutes on along the ridge, and right here you'll see a nice icy staircase down to the bottom. All right, so this is the cave that usually has a rope that you can climb up to get to it. You don't have to come up this way or down it, you can go around it. So what we're gonna do is go around it and then we're gonna go uh, over here to the buttress itself. the cave We're down here in this basin where all this waterfalls it's forming another mound of, of ice here and uh, the trail is really obvious we're going to continue down toward the Red River. We're going to hug the right side of this river all the way to where there's a turnoff for moonshine. Moonshiner's Arch is very close to the path but what we're but in order to get back to the car you want to hug the river. You can see you can see some a couple of paths heading down into this little goalie right here. 
This is Moonshiners. Right now we're kind of at the top of it, which you can go and see. 0.2 tenths of a mile from the, the, the parking lot, so it's really close. So you want to look for it on your left. It's going to be a trail that deviates away from the river to the left. If you're coming this way, if you're going, if you're going back towards the car, it'll be on your right. So we made it here to Moonshiners Arch. It's certainly big enough to put a whiskey still in, you know. And uh, not only that, it's just a giant, cool, domed arch. Plus, it's got this bonus skylight arch over here. Alright, so we made it back to the Osborne Bend parking lot. We hope you enjoyed hiking with us today. It was an amazing experience. Uh, this hike really has a lot of features on it that you should check out. With the Red River Underground, we'll see you next time.